I think everybody is okay, and I hope everybody is okay and enjoying this joyous seasons of being Christmas and December and the last month of the year. So today, move this. Bit. This is this, this is better. This is better. Okay. So, um, like I've been promising all my friends, especially my girlfriends on Facebook, Instagram, saying that I'm gonna do. All the whole videos because I recently traveled to Tokyo and as usual I did a lot of shopping and like makeup and skincare and body care. I went all crazy, like crazy. I was just comparing myself what I would pay on the internet and what I get over there, and I was so excited. So I did buy a lot of、uh, stuff, and I just want to sh show you quickly what I bought. Obviously, because I bought a lot, and、um, I haven't used all of them. Some of them I'm started using, so I'm gonna give you a little bit of quick review on those ones as well, and and in and what I bought in general. So if there is any particular thing that you wanna know first, and maybe you might want to try, because if you wanna buy the full product, then just let me know, and、uh, you can comment in the box down below and let me know, and I'll see what I can do for you. So I got a lot of things, so I don't think I can fit everything in one video. So I'm gonna start with the makeup products that I bought、uh, when I was in Tokyo. So put everything in one bag so that I can show everything together. And first, I'm gonna start with、um, eyebrow products because if you guys know, I am absolutely crazy about eyebrows. Like it's just my recent love of things that I, I just gotta, you know,、um, have it done every day one before I go out, and I love my eyebrows like nice and sharp and thick. And so when I see a lot of, and in Japan you do have a few, not a few, you've got like plenty of choices, even in eyebrow pencil or. Marker gel, you name it, they have it, and I absolutely love it. These Japanese people are blessed to have that much of an option because here in the London, I don't feel like I get that much of an option. Then if you do have an option, they do tend to charge you a lot for it. So my first product is an eyebrow pencil, which look like this, and the color is a brown. And would you believe I got this from Daiso? Which is a famous 100 yen shop in Harajuku, and I got this from there. I only pay 100 yen, and I am not sure whether it's going to be any good. But I haven't tried this. I try not to open any of the product if I'm not going to use it because I don't want to ruin them. Because once it is like oxidized and it's in touch with the、um, air, they tend to go back quickly. So I'm trying to keep them in their packages. So this is an eyebrow pencil. And it's from Daiso. I pay hundred pound, hundred dollar, no, hundred yen, hundred yen. So、uh, if you're wondering, the exchange rate is,、um, I think it's hundred and seventy four yen is equals to one British pounds, so less than a pound. Okay, and the next one I bought is、uh, from a company called Sizen. And this is an eyebrow pencil, and the other the color is a natural brown.、Uh, the, what is、uh, different about this? This is like、uh, like very new products、uh, that's coming out in Japanese cosmetic. These are eyebrow pencil. However, if you look at it, these are really thick. So they look like this. So if you want to have a like a sharp line, thin sharp line, you have to do it like a sideways, like such as like this. But if you want to have a, just do want to blend it out, then you do it like this. So that's a swatch of it. It's very natural, very creamy. When I found it in the shop, um, I was like, I gotta have it. I just gotta have it. You know, I can never get this in the in in UK. I have never seen this. Type of product before. I think I pay six hundred and fifty yen for this, so I'm not sure how how much it works out. But for me, it's absolutely worth it. I just want to grab like ten of them, but obviously I can't do that.、Uh, that's one. And the next one is、uh, from Kamei, 
and this is very similar to the one that I just showed you from Suzanne. It's an eyebrow pencil. However, the different thing is, if you look at on the packaging, there's on one stick there's two different color. You have a darker color on one side and a lighter color on the other side. So um, if you want to use a different color to fill out your brow, so what I tend to do with my eyebrow is I tend to use a darker color at the end, and then when I blend this out, I try to spread the color so that it's not as dark. So this is very for uh, that purpose I think and uh, the price I think is a Suzanne and the camera is a similar price I pay at the 650 yen for this and the next one is from Ichi House it's called drawing eyebrow this is my repeated purchase I have used this before when I was in Burma and I love it it's a uh, the tip of the eyebrow pencil is like slated it's not round or you know sharp like that is slated so it's very good to fill them in and it's very good for the end as well so I love that and I repurchase it I think I put I bought two of them and I gave one to my sister I only pay 400 yen for one of these let's start and then quickly moving on to eyeliner Everybody who knows me knows how much I love my eyeliner. It's one of my uh, daily makeup routine, which I must have it on my eyes. I love it. Norm in normal day, when I go to work, I fill up my eyebrow and eyeliner and then, you know, mascara. That is my daily routine. So eyeliner, I absolutely love. If I see something new, I gotta have it. So this one, I bought this in Don Quixote. It's like a... It's almost like an outlet, like wholesaler, and they have plenty of stuff like home care, clothes, makeup, cosmetic, everything you can aim for. And I got this from there, and it's a 24-hour eyeliner. Again, I didn't open this packaging because I want to keep it as long as I can. So uh, this is 20, uh, it claims it's 24 hours. So I gotta see how I say. I'm, I'm not sure how much I paid for. I cannot remember. And but and then the next one I purchased is from Kate is super sharp liner and it was like this the this is the packaging oh sorry uh, yeah this was the packaging and if they were doing an offer in Don Quixote to for I think 1,300 yen so for me it, I think it's individually it's about 850 yen so for me it's like 400 yen less but for me it wasn't the price it was the product that I was like I gotta have it so I bought this and I'm currently using one and the tip looks like this it's very sharp and the color I love it just gives you a clean sharp line and it does stand out most of the day. It doesn't uh, spread around too much, which I love. But it tends, if I use it on a flick of my eyes, I kind of notice like um, towards the end of the day, I do see a little bit of color spreading. So mm, maybe it just doesn't go well with my skin. Who knows? Right? And then moving on to mascara. I didn't buy much of a mascara because I. Uh, kind of read on the internet and uh, what I notice is mascara is something that you cannot keep it for a long time even if you keep it closed they tend to go bad anyway so I only buy one which I currently have used when I was there and one extra so the one I bought and I've been using lately is a DUP mascara it's called perfect extension what makes me purchase if you look at it the tube is, um, is smaller comparing to the normal mascara size and one thing it really caught my attention is the brush the side of the brush is very thin and very precise which I love and I am using it now if you can see they tend to make your eyelash goes really long but it doesn't crawl as much but what I like it doesn't spread out it doesn't give you that panda eyes at the end of the day so I'm loving this um, I might probably repurchase this online if that's run out and another mascara again I got this from Kame I haven't opened this I think this is for Goku Goku Boto Goku Boto 
and that's what it calls and the brush looks like this I did see a lot of good reviews on the internet but I didn't purchase it because of the review I was just in the store I saw it and I was like okay that's the type of the brush I love so I bought it anyway and then when I went to the internet and I saw that this is a very good um, it has very good reviews so I was thrilled about it and I think I only paid 650 yen for this Again, I'm nearly finished and um, another two is a uh, is the eyelashes so if you are an eyelash person at uh, Tokyo is somewhere you gotta go and do shopping eyelash are everywhere and they got like hundreds of them that you can choose from and I was not gonna buy any because I don't use um, I fake eyelashes that much but I was like okay I'm there I might as well just get one as a souvenir or something I wasn't expecting anything so I bought this I got this in Harajuku I think I pay about 1200 yen plus tax so I don't remember this is how much I pay it got I think I got five pairs in it what it really surprised me I used one of them when, uh, in a recent um, my work Christmas party I wasn't expecting anything I thought I'll try it but one thing that really different from uh, the eyelashes you get in the UK high street the strips are really thin and it um, it's really thin and it uh, takes up the glue really well <clears throat> so when you stick onto your eyes it doesn't look as fake it's very natural as well and then on top of that when you put on the mascara it makes your eyes look really pretty and you don't even feel like you're wearing anything so that is a plus for me and I'm thoroughly surprised now I wish I like purchased more of these eyelashes but Oh well, I suppose it's another time. So I really recommend these. This is called Diamond Lash. Okay. And uh, the last two products of the makeup that I purchased. Um, this is from ET2 House. It's the Apricot Stick. This is my seven, eight, nine. I can't even remember. This is a one lip balm or lip tint that I absolutely love. I vouch for this. Try this if you ever have a chance. You will never regret this. This is the best type of lip balm you can get. It gives you a nice tint and it makes your lips feel absolutely moisturized during the day. I absolutely love them. So I think I bought one or two. Bought one. I, think I bought one and I pay no, 400, 500 yen I think. I got this in Shibuya 109 and I was so surprised to see the ETG counter over there and I was like, oh my god, I gotta, you know, take it. So I bought this. And the one last product I purchased is the Kate CC Lip Cream. Again, they were doing this in offer, three colors, three of them, and they were doing an offer of a thousand yen or something like that. And they're usually 450 yen each. So I bought it. I was thinking like, okay, I can just maybe give one to my sister and whatever. So I bought this and then I am thoroughly surprised. I can't, this is one of those lip uh, balm things that you can get. However, um, the finish and the color and how you make your lips feel, it's absolutely amazing. And I absolutely love it. I've been using this for, um, for this winter in London and my lips doesn't feel as chapped anymore so I'm very happy about that so that is all the makeup that I bought during my trip to Tokyo and I'll be trying that eventually so if I find something that is really good then I'll be doing a, like a, a long uh, review for particular products so I hope you enjoy it if there is anything you want to need to know or you want me to let you know just tell me comment and thumbs up and thanks for watching see you soon